Hey, good day there, YouTube subscribers. Uh, today's video is on this amp I got in. Um, it's an Amatron 811. Um, it's been here for a little bit of time. Uh, I've been waiting on some parts to come in. But uh, this originally was a three-tube amplifier, and somebody has modified it for four tubes, and they're 572s instead of the 811s. And there was a few things uh, that I've seen uh, I'm still not done with it, but I just, uh, this is like a preliminary video on it. Uh, one of the things was, is I've replaced all the uh, caps at the top here. Um, this is what it had in it, because of course somebody modified it. These were just really, really in not great shape. I mean, they're still salvageable, probably clean them up, they'd still be okay, but I went ahead and elected to get four of them. But, when they modified it, they just put these rings around the tube uh, not really great contact and as you see what they look like uh, they're not in real good shape and then they don't completely go around the tube so that's uh, that's not good so uh, and then on top of it I don't know what kind of soldering iron they had let me see if we can clear this up a little bit but yeah it doesn't look real healthy for the soldering on this uh, on the high on the on the bar up here at the top off the uh, off the choke so uh, we're going to just dress that up. I mean, it's making contact. They're all solid. It just doesn't look pretty. But this was the thing that really got me. See, somebody added the fourth tube in there. And um, basically, they went off of one of the tubes and jumped things over. And uh, give me a second. I'm going to flip this up on its side. I'm going to set the phone down. Okay. All right. So we're back. I've got it up on the side, but what really gets me, um, I mean, as you see where the wires are in here, jumping from tube socket, off the plate choke, all kinds of stuff, okay? Well, the, the amp did work. No problems. Um, can circuit's been installed in it, so no more foot switch. Uh, but this is what got me. What do you think about that mounting hardware there? A couple old wall anchors, man. He used wall anchors to mount the fourth tube socket down. And the thing is, is, look, it's loose. They're loose, man. You know, it's not even tight. So I'm going to pull this out and mount this socket correctly. I mean, it's all wobbly up in there. But uh, this is the kind of stuff that you find with homebrew. Now, this is a ham guy's amplifier. So, yeah. And he bought it off of a ham. So, uh, I, you know... I'm going to address it up. I'm going to go through everything, make sure everything checks out. I've already blown the dust out of it with the air compressor. Um, I did the plate caps already. I, I wasn't going to make a video of this at first, but I decided, hey, what the heck. You know, I don't do too many uh, tube videos, and it you know gets tiresome sometimes seeing the same old, same old stuff. So we'll be back here in a few minutes with a little update on this. Update uh, took care of the, uh, <laughs> the wall hangers for... I guess nuts. Uh, Replace the two screws too that they had in here. Um, one of the things I didn't like is they didn't have no washers. I don't know how well y'all can see this. Let me see this flashlight. I put washers up behind the uh, screws now, stainless steel screws. Um, I didn't like the idea of just the screws there. Now, somebody's used copper tubing for uh, spacers and it was all cut uneven. I guess they, they used a hacksaw to cut it. Um, I took and uh, straightened those out for it for him and like I said uh, nuts even with the bottom looks like the rest of the factory ones but look ma no wobbly tube no more all right give me a minute we're gonna fire this Jimmy up and uh, show you what she's doing all right guys back on the uh, 811 uh, a couple things I didn't show in the first initial videos uh, this meter right here was stuck so uh, we went in there and fixed that and basically I'm um, Assuming this thing has been so hot that it's actually melted the meter. So uh, we went in there and uh, we fixed that all up. Um, got it straightened out and uh, got the meter functioning properly. It's uh, it's pretty close to what the manual says, which was 1.5 kV. And as you see, it's like almost 1.5 kV. Um, I did the 10 meter mod for the guy. He uh, you know wanted it for all the bands. And as you see, all the tubes are lit. Hey guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Ran out of memory on the old uh, phone. But uh, as you see, everything's lit in there. And, um, you know, I did the uh, 10 meter mod and uh, a few other things. 
Um, I want to get in and uh, look at the, the Ameritron 572B schematic and see if there might be something changed on the biasing for the tubes, just to double check. Um, probably also let the guy know that uh, I'm pretty sure this power supply is not big enough to carry these three tubes just because of the watts that I'm seeing out of it. Um, I mean, in, in reality, I've had uh, two tube 572Bs doing what this four tuber is doing. So, uh, but let's get on with it. Um, I've already tuned it all out. Milliamps are within what the manual says. Not to exceed. We got a thousand watt bird slug over here. And of course, I've got my peak over here. So, uh, oh yeah. It's about 360 on the bird. Um, I mean, you know, it's, I mean, it's 360 bird watts. So, you know, I would have thought with four of them in it, I've seen two of them do 350. So I would have at least assumed that four of them would have gave me five, but uh, that's not the case. Um, the only other thing that I see is I know two of them will give you about 900. Oh, uh, yeah. And I see a flash of 12. Oh, uh, yeah. But it's holding a thousand. So, uh, and then watch what the plate bolts do. Ella, Ella, Ella. So they're dropping pretty substantially. I mean, it's going from 15 down to about 12. So and we're just using a Galaxy 959 in it with a stock microphone. I mean, nothing extravagant and a little two pill driver. So, uh, and then this is what the two pills doing on output. So, uh, about 120 130 rms and of course that's two on the 200 scale oh yeah and it puts the 200 peak in the corner hello so yeah 400 peak and you know i don't know how much you want to give this for peak i usually just use it for rms to watch my drivers but uh there you go a four tube uh 811 with 572 b's in it and uh that's kind of what you get. Not enough power supply. Um, so I'm going to talk it over with the uh, customer and see what they want to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Old Stickman at the No Name MCB Shop. If this is something that you have that you'd like to have done, give us a shout. We'll help you out. Uh, also, they've got an assortment of Mitch Match screws. So I've got to find all the right screws for the case. And it uh, needs one insert down here on the end. But uh, that's... Uh, Something else I got to finish up with. All right, guys, have a good one, man. Stick man, and we're gone.